In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get unlimited skill points while being AFK. I'm then going to show you how to convert these skill points into super real spins with a method that does not require using the auction house and risking buying a car that has already been used up. So be sure to watch this video all the way through and comment down below if you have any questions regarding this method and I'll be sure to reply. And just so you guys know, the race I will be showing you doesn't have any issues with the skill chain not working when you're AFK. So this is a perfect method for those of you on console who don't have access to a macro. Before we get into that though, I do want to quickly mention that this video is sponsored by Aurora Resupply. This is the number one supplier of Forza Horizon 5 credits. They have a variety of options to choose from, starting with 10 million credits for only $6, all the way up to 999 million credits for $90. Make sure to use my code Eradicate in the checkout for 5% off your purchase. So first things first, go ahead and make sure you have the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition. And you're going to want to go to your car mastery and basically upgrade everything so that you can earn the most skill points during your races. Now once that's all taken care of, you can go to Event Lab, Event Blueprints, and then enter the share code I am now. This is going to show you a skill points farming method that you can use to get 10 skill points every 30 seconds. And you're going to want to start the event and then go into difficulty and settings and copy the settings I have on screen now. So once the race loads up, just hold down the acceleration, smashing into these obstacles, and you'll see your skill chain start to accumulate. And by the end of the race, you'll have earned enough skill chain to get 10 skill points, even though your race will finish before the score at the top catches up. Then you can simply restart the race over and over and keep acquiring skill points, or whenever you're done and want to start converting these skill points into super wheel spins, you can simply end the race. Now they did actually end up refunding all the skill points that you would have used on the MGs. So for me, I have over like 3000 skill points now, which is pretty nice. Now they also did reset the skill mastery tree for all the MGs that you've already bought. So for example, if you go to one of your MGs car mastery trees, you'll see that it's completely been reset. And given that they did actually change the car mastery tree to include a regular wheel spin and 10 Forzathon points, you can use all of your refunded skill points to just go ahead and get the regular wheel spin, which I think is a pretty decent method, and you can still even just buy the MGs and farm the regular wheel spins that way. It's pretty much what we're going to have to do at this point, considering super wheel spins are a thing of the past. However, I'm going to show you the best method to use to get guaranteed super wheel spins, even though it is fairly expensive in terms of skill points, but it does beat buying used cars from the auction house in hopes that the skill tree hasn't been used up. Now as far as the method goes, you're going to want to purchase the Jeep Rubicon for 50,000 credits and then go to Car Mastery and upgrade the skills in the path I am here, spending 60 skill points to get the Deberti Wrangler. You can then get inside this car and go to Car Mastery and upgrade the skills in the path I am here, spending 25 skill points to get a super wheel spin. Now basically this method is significantly more expensive skill point wise. It's going to cost you 50,000 credits and 85 skill points per super wheel spin, but I find it to be more efficient as it doesn't cost much credits and you're guaranteed a super wheel spin opposed to buying a car from the auction house that at this point almost always has a skill tree already upgraded. In addition to this, you can sell this car on the auction house when you're done and end up with around 500,000 credits, which is a good addition to the rewards you will get from the wheel spins. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video before you go and with all that being said my name is of course eradicate and i'll see you in the next video peace